Today we're taking a look at the new Zoom ZDM1 dynamic microphone. The School of Podcasting with Dave Jackson. Hey, I'm Dave Jackson from the School of Podcasting.com where I help you start your podcast and grow your influence. And, and so what we're looking at today is the new Zoom ZDM1. It comes with a pop filter. It comes with, uh, I really like their mount. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, there's, I know it's a mount, but it's just kind of cool. You put the bottom in on this thing and just kind of turn this knob and it screws itself in and it's real, everything's super sturdy. This is also a weapon. You could throw this at somebody and take somebody out, but I don't think they want you doing that. Um, it comes with a set of headphones, which are pretty cool. Um, these are really over the ear in there. It's, it's comfortable. That's what I liked about them. And also the cable for the headphones is disconnectable if that makes any sense, and uh, really clear. I'm kind of weird. I like the headphones that I'm wearing right now. I've used them for years, so I like that. There is one thing that it comes with, along with an adapter, a quarter-inch adapter for that, and that, please quit making these. Please, uh, all, all microphone people, please quit making stands that are, I don't know, six inches tall. I mean, it's. I, I will give them credit. This is more sturdier than the other ones, but this is worthless. Nobody is going to put this on their desk and then talk into it like that. That's just, please quit making these. That would be the one thing I was like, uh. So let me uh, throw this onto my, that's the other thing I would say. I have a really pretty sturdy boom stand here and this microphone is, is heavy. And so I would recommend getting something like this, you know, a boom arm. This is uh, the Samson boom arm that I'm using here, but that's what I'm gonna plop this on to uh, play with this. But this goes for, you get the microphone, the stand, uh, as well as the headphones and the pop filter, all for 120 bucks. So now for the record, the microphone I'm using right now is $300. So is this going to sound as good as a $300 microphone? Mm, that's not really fair now, is it? So, but I am going to compare it to another $99 microphone. So let's pop this in. All right. So here we go. It's all plugged in and that's what you're listening to right now. Well, decent bottom end to this. And I'm not sure there's, for me, I'm again, it's not really fair comparing it to a $300 microphone, but my S's and T's, I don't, uh, see as super present in this particular one, but it's definitely got a nice tone to it. And again, on the boom arm, it's a piece of cake. So I thought what I would do is I'm gonna bring in another microphone. This one is $99 as well. And, but you get no headphones or anything like that with this. This is the Rode Podcaster. Now, both of these are designed for podcasting. And I'm actually gonna scoot this over here and get this close to my mouth as well. So this is me uh, where I would normally be, about three fingers away from this microphone. And if I turn this on and turn this off, we are now listening to the Rode Pod mic. Now this one definitely has kind of a mid boost to it. I hear much more mids, but I don't have that bottom end to it. If I get down again, maybe a little closer to this, uh, the Rode Pod mic. So let me turn these both on now. And uh, this is, the Zoom, uh, again, uh, ZDM1, and this is the Rode Pod mic. And here's the bottom line of both of these. I don't know that I hear a huge amount of difference. I hear a little more bottom end on the ZDM1. Uh, and uh, I know by default, the ZDM1 is made to pick up more bass and a little more high end where I think it's the Pod mic that has a difference in the frequency response. Uh, let me turn back on the, the ZDM1 and I'll turn off the pod mic so you can hear the difference. But here's the bottom line. Both of these microphones are pretty deep. I mean, they're definitely better than the stick. It's better than the built-in microphone on your laptop, things of that nature. It definitely has a warm tone to it. And what's interesting as I look at the specs, the ZDM1 has a 50 hertz to 18 hertz uh, frequency response. The Rode pod mic has 20 hertz to 20 K. Uh, so actually it's the pod mic that has the wider range, but yet I hear more bass when I do the ZDM one. Now I also don't hear the, as much clarity. So it's, and I always say this with everybody, it really depends on your voice. I know for me, I, I really like my voice on an RE320. It's clear, it's bassy enough. And 
if you like the sound of your voice, then quit looking at microphones and go into making content. Realize the first time you hear your voice, you're not going to like it because when you listen through headphones, especially right now, uh, if I talk uh, and it's actually, if you put your fingers on your forehead, you'll feel your voice is vibrating your skull. It's actually called bone conduction. It's science. And that's why when you listen through just headphones, now your skull isn't vibrating, even though depending on how loud your headphones are, uh, and you're just hearing that there's, you lose a lot of the bass. So you're not going to like your voice the first time you hear it anyway, but all in all for $99, actually, I think it's 120. Remember you get the headphones, you get the pop filter, you get the microphone, you get the stand that, you know, yeah. Uh, it's a, a pretty good deal. And like I say, I think most of these microphones realize that you can always add more clarity, uh, in post, you can take out some of the bass in post. So, uh, it's a great, uh, I, this is, I, I believe their first kind of microphone geared towards podcaster along with the, uh, they've been making portable recorders, but they just came out with the P4. I've got a review of that on my YouTube channel. If you want to check it out, but this is the zoom ZDM one. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Jackson from the school of podcasting.com where I help you start your podcast and grow your influence.